Now, is it time for Ken Oforiata to go? I saw um, somebody who had used the brand of KFC. I don't know why, about 22 people sent it to me, but I don't open everything that comes to me because some people send me information. Um, that makes them think, oh, this country is going to the dogs. Some of the information I choose not to use because I have not had my researchers verified yet. And some of the information I choose not to use because I cannot verify them internationally. And I have to check with other journalists from around the world because some journalists outside Ghana, unfortunately, have more information on the corruption in your country right. than you who live here. Because you are blinded by the nonsense and the niceties. If you would go out there and find how many of your own people are stealing this country blind, who are actually in positions of authority, it would be cause for suicide. But if you think of it seriously, those MPs who stood up to speak have acted with courage. Courage which they got from their constituents. Because don't forget this, because of the way our government is set up, nearly every MP whose government is in power is angling for a ministerial position. Yeah. So they try as much as possible not to offend the president. Mm. But I think they have gotten to a point where they think, if this president even gives me an appointment, I don't want it. Ken must go. Ken must go because there has been too much thievery under him. Thievery which we simply want to call, oh, it's unethical. But I'm telling you, if you live in a home where two children have sickle cell, one of the children has a terminal injury, and you have an uncle in the home who says, things have gotten so bad, we need to go borrow money to go get surgery for these children, right? And that uncle then goes to see somebody from whom he can borrow money. All you need is $100 million. And the person from whom he's borrowing money will also ensure that he makes $9.8 million. Ghanaians, will you trust that uncle? That uncle is Ken Oforiata. If it's a dance for Yassi, and me at him, and you keep him, and in Zima. We go when he must. When he bread ye. And I want every Ghanaian to go and read about Bernie Madoff. You see, when you see money managers have more questions, plenty. And I know some stupid person will go and stand on television and defend them because they have spat mucus into his mouth and treat him like a dog. And eventually, what is happening at the airport will also come out. When you think of it really, think of it really, why? How much money do you alone want to have? Why? Data bank alone, how many of your staff are in government at the moment? How much money does Nanado owe you? In fact, Parliament must ask this question. Do you think it's a matter of how much the president, I think, I think, how the president I think, is beholden no, to him? I think, you see, the, so, the, the, the thing about thinking is that anybody who thinks is likely to cause offense. Because every time you think, people who are disingenuous will be offended. And every time you think and especially ask questions, people who are doing wrong will feel uncomfortable. I think the president owes him. Because if the president doesn't owe him, what is it that is so beholden to this gentleman that with what he has done with our economy, he still has to be at post? It goes for every minister, not only him. Those who have done well, keep them at post. If the president says he wants to fire the Greater Accra Regional Minister, I'll be one of those who will go pleading on his behalf because I think he has done a sterling job for our motherland Ghana. In fact, with a minister like that, you don't even need a mayor in Accra and Tema mm. because he's doing their jobs. But some too have failed us.